You've seen EAFC 24 player career mode. Now it's time for the EAFC manager career mode. Guys, welcome. It's time to begin. I have already created the manager. We'll get to him in a sec. But first, we have to figure out what team we are going to manage. And for this very first episode of EAFC 24 manager crew mode, I'm going to do what I did with player crew mode. Use this random generator to give us two teams, and we can decide whichever one we like. Here we go. Well, we can either go to Italy or France. Uh, oh, Modena or Troyes. This is kind of a tough one, guys. I know looking at the strength of each of these, it's going to be kind of, well, kind of a tough choice because they are so similar. Technically, choice is just a slightly better squad, but I don't know much as much about the French League, Ligue 1, and in this case, the second league, compared to the Serie A B. But guys... I'm going to take a quick look at these teams. So, when looking at Modena FC, honestly, three, uh, two and a half stars, like they say. Domestic success, only medium. Continental, very low. Brand exposure, very low. Financial, low. Youth development, low. The expectations aren't anything big, but for two and a half star, you kind of expect it. They were obviously founded in 1912. Uh, Modena is based in, well, Modena. They currently compete in Serie A B. The second highest tier in the Football League system. Italy, there's not much here. The club's worth about 18 mil. Our budget's about 6.2. Jerseys are okay. Not anything too big. And when we go to Ligue 1 and we go to Troyes, I think you'll under East Stack. Yeah, here we go. Technically, it gave them a three star in our match generator. They're at a two and a half as well. High domestic success compared to medium. Continental success is very low. Like continental success low brand exposure low but financials is high the other club it was low youth development's low so here compared to modena Troyes wants us to have more domestic success and financials uh they were founded in 1986 so a lot newer uh under the association Troyes Aub champagne they changed their name to the esperance sportive Troyes Aub champagne 2000 they're currently competing in league two second highest tier in system Colors choice is blue and white comes from the coat of arms of the city to play their first league garden game in 1999. See, now this club is worth significantly more. 70 mil, transfer budget's 9 mil though, and home and away, kind of a plain blue and white. You know, I think for our first uh, club, I think I am just going to go back over here and uh, look at the cute little bird. Cheap, cheap. Um, why the club worth is a lot less. There's a lot less pressure here. And if I don't like the players, like let's say this is this is an Italian team. So they could have a lot of aging players. And I really want to try to build a young team right off the bat. I think we are going to go Medina and we're going to lock that in, guys. Now, club customization home stadium. I think we should just let them give us the generic one because there's no reason to go to any of these other ones right i mean it doesn't really make sense maybe i should figure out which one is more like their actual home stadium so looking at the home stadiums crown lane has a seat count about twenty four thousand. modina plays technically in the stadio alberto braglia i think it is so looking at it they're closer to about twenty one thousand capacity and why they have the similar structure to these kind of open top stadiums. I actually think Union Park Stadium, why not an exact replica? Obviously, I think Crown Lane's green grass on the sideline matches it a little bit more. The seat count, Union Park's 22,000 is a lot closer. And Arena de Oro is 20,000, which is almost a whole thousand less. Why this is only about a thousand something over. So I think we'll go Union Park Stadium. I think I will try to rename it to match um, what the name is. So it's the Stadio. You know, yeah, I'm on PC. I know I can probably find a pack to download the actual stadium. Um, I do find it kind of ridiculous that they haven't reached out to these areas, like these Division Two sides with how many teams they're adding. Oh, they don't allow me to go any further than Stadio Alberto. 
So I guess Studio Alberta will be our home name. And we'll select it. We'll go back. So we at least have the home stadium that is close to what they are. We can customize stands. C color, I think we should kind of stick to Medito's scheme, which is yellow and blue. So maybe... Is there a yellow and blue option? There is. So yeah, we'll just go yellow and blue. Kind of keep the theme of the club going. Seats color. Um, I'm going to go the blue. The yellow seems a little too bright. And yeah, I think I think I kind of like how that looks. Now I know the actual stadium isn't exactly that. But I think we'd want to stay somewhat in our realm of color scheme. And then pitch. I really looking at, obviously you guys cannot see it because I'm looking at it here. Looking at the grass, they do just have straight um, horizontal. And it does look like they're rather large horizontal. So that way we can go with that. Line color obviously is white. I mean, no reason to change it. And I mean, going yellow is weird. But we'll keep white, keep it authentic. And the color. Now the grass here is a little bit more it might be light green actually looking at it so we'll go there trying to trying to match the stadio alberto a little bit uh net coloring i do not see a net color here in this image i know i could find another one but just to speed it up i think we are going to try to see if there's a yellow blue here we go nice diagonal yellow blue and is there a horizontal vertical I think vertical blue yellow i like that shape oh i, I i'm just gonna keep it wrecking you know nah, no square square it's square okay so we have our stadium pretty much built that is um nice and simple we are gonna put it on professional because i haven't been playing as much uh six minutes halves we'll bump it up to seven Going to use dollars, European competition, financial takeover is going to be disabled. Uh, we are going to actually make the, no, we'll keep it strict. We'll put negotiation strictness as strict, try to keep it more realistic. Job offers will be open, transfer will be open, going to advance, and we are going to start. Now, we're going to look at the club because uh, I really want to try to keep a young side. Like, truth be told. All right, so uh, manager, and we're just going to put manager Azure. Because I did name him Nick Azure, just like the other one. I know it's signore, not that creative, signore, con but it's time to see him introduced. Vi il nuovo so you kind of see him there. Tactical vision. I think we're going to go Tiki Taka just because I know it's Italian football. That's my style. And that's really what we're going to focus on. Uh, wow. Um, we have a weekly budget of 120. I mean, this guy is gold expert. Francisco Bianco just looks so good. I think we have to, you know, go that direction. Um, I think it, midfield should be our main focus first and foremost. Because finishing is going to be up mostly to my skill level. Okay, so the players boost are driven by player sharpness department level. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll change formation around and everything. We're going to hire more coaches. Um, attack. I think the best option we want to stick in Tiki Taka. I think is going in this direction of being to Zing. He's accomplished. He's silver. That's fine. Um, I want at least one in each. We do have a lot of budget. Defense, I, I mean, by far and away, I think Milo Villa is the next best option. We'll throw him there. And goalkeeping. I know there's a bunch of other stuff we could do here. I think we are just going to throw the novice here. Oh, wait. Actually, we have accomplished silver. 
David Bianchi, who is two goalkeeper. So, yeah. So here we still have some money, and we have two coaching positions. So I think we just take Massimo Poli, who's a three-star mid, and just throw him in midfield. And then I think we are out of coaches. Can we hire one more? I think we have six. Yeah, we have one more position. So looking at these two, I mean, Daniel Fiore is just better. He's also cheaper. And I think we'll throw him in defense because my defense sucks pretty badly in this game. And so this will allow us to at least have it. So, yeah, no, I think I think that's pretty good. We have eight stars in mid, four in defense. They're saying ideal, but we really don't have the budget or the coaching, um, you know, level right now. So I think this is fine. I think this will do. And we are going to see. Okay, it looks like we have some inbox mail. So let's go over this stuff. Introductions. Yeah, we will take care of the scouting. Uh, first scout report. No, we're going to clear everything. Vision expectations. Okay. Confidence rating. Your manager popularity. Yeah, we're currently at 80. We need to, within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season play at least 30% of the games. Sell two players and sign two important players to replace them. Finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. Get a streak of 10 games with at least one goal. Youth development. Okay. Sell two players. Okay, so they want us to reach around 16 in Copa Italia. Italia uh, finish mid-table. That's fine. Then two seasons fight for promotion. Okay. And continental success, none. Okay, so I think we're... I think this is realistic. I think this is a team that isn't going to force us to do too bad. A youth Academy report. Um, I will check that in a minute. Check and update the training plan. Yeah, an important transfer market. Okay. Because we we have a we have a lot to do, we really do, and I think that first and foremost the youth academy is very important since one of our things require us, and the potential here is not looking good. If anything, this Burgess looks like the most near complete. I mean, he's already at fifty one, only at fifteen, and I mean this Novak's potential could be as low as 58 and he's already 57 at the age of 17 we can't sign anyone here uh the keeper is really subpar let's see this burgess okay four star skill move three star weak foot medium medium okay he's left footed 511 176 he's out of wales Okay, aggression's decent, high, strength 74, sprint speed 72, stamps 69, excels 63, jumping 67. Anything good here? His shot power and long shots are in the 50s. Everything else has gone so far. And then let's take a look at Jan Novak at a Czech Republic. 5'8, 145, right foot. 3'3, uh, three, three, medium, medium. 75 excel, 86 agility, 75 balance. Okay, so a little bit more athletic. He is slightly older, though, so that makes sense. Physically, he'd be more grown, stronger. Uh, but what's interesting is Burgess has more strength, so Burgess might grow into a better player overall. Especially as a CB, the fact he is as quick as he is and he has a decent amount of strength. As a right wing, you know, Novak's supposed to be more athletic. Decent composure at 61, I guess. What What's here? Ball controls a 69. That's interesting. 68 curve, 60 dribbling, 60 finishing is only a 48. And the fact his skill moves is only three star isn't bad, but the fact our CB slash right back has four is very interesting. Uh, so we have some stuff there we do have to worry about. There is a big issue about our preseason invite. Okay about our training plan i'll worry about once i kind of get in so we have to sell two players and sign two important players finish the season without any unspent transfer budget which i think is going to be tough so right off the bat i know you guys probably can hear it 
for some reason I cannot hear game audio, which is very uh, difficult. I'm gonna see if I can't fix it. Honestly, when it comes down to it, scouting report, scouts, I know I need to change this. Um, I'm gonna see what they have here first and foremost. So it definitely looks like they are interested. You know, I think I am just gonna remove everyone from the report and reset the scouting report. Because at this point, um, manage scout, recall. We're just going to recall these guys 100%. Oh, he's not even out yet. Cool. So we have a two fours and a three. Uh, instruction. Okay. So it looks like I want to keep the players young. So I'm going to set a max age of like 25. Uh, contract. I'd rather them be near the end of their contract. Um, any position, any role, tactical fit. We're gonna look for Tiki Taka players and um, you know, any anything's fine here. We'll just take it as it comes. Uh, that's gonna be that. We are actually going to send three experience, three judgment. I think what we're gonna do is because our guys from North America, we are gonna check out the United States just to see um and i will send the other two out later i only really want one for right now we will need to figure out players transfer because we need to get rid of two so formation i'm i'm kind of a uh four one uh two one kind of guy where's wide here we go there we go um this is just kind of the natural formation i'm going to do so we're going to throw that there really quick i know we're going to have to make some changes but i want to look at the squad hub really quick that name new no. okay so keeper 67 68 53 22 years old 25 32. so that's 67 overall 32 years old his contract's expiring let's add him to the transfer list see if we can't get rid of him because Dog knows 25, 68. I mean, we do need to figure out positions. Left back, uh, 70, 65, 64. The fact the 65 rate is the same age as the 70. For now, I think I'll add him to the transfer list. I'm just going to get rid of players I see age rise that don't make sense um, or don't have a good overall. 72. We need a leader or center back. 29 doesn't bother me. 35 years old for a 68 does bother me quite a bit so we're going to add to transfer list he's the captain but no uh anyways i'd much rather sign another center back that's one of the ones i'd much rather replace 18 year old 54 rated okay and then on loan um terminate loan oh that costs money yeah i'm going to terminate i want to look at the squad and i'm not going to play with own players right back we have one 24 years old, 66. We might want to just sign a right back. CDM is going to be important. Uh, Luca Magnino is definitely probably going to be um, the starter. And he's 25, so that'll be fine for now. Uh, CM, we'll see what other positions these guys can play in a bit. Because, okay, so Palombo can play Cam, which is important. So he can be our Cam. Mario can be our backup at Cam. We have a left mid. He can also play left back. That's interesting. Um, CM, okay. So CM, CDM. Thomas B Batista Law can only play center mid. I know you can add stuff, so we'll see if we can't get him in something. Then we do have Luca Tremonolda. Wait, then he can, he can only play CM. Okay. So Cam looks like it's pretty set. I am definitely going to have to go through this a little bit on my own. I'm just wanting to look through the raw, like, base numbers. So, a 68, 32-year-old, his contracts were just trade him. 29, 63. No. 31, 67. No. Okay, here we go. Bonifanita, this guy probably will be our starting striker. And Fabio Abiso, 65, 20 years old. Um, contract is expiring though. I think I'll deal with contract talk later. 
Uh, Stats-wise, that doesn't do anything. Developmental, it doesn't really matter. Financials. Okay, here's some big stuff. So obviously we're expecting... Okay, 550, 1 point. So we're paying a 1.4 point to be kind of a... To be a backup when we have this backup who's worse, but is only 545 bucks in comparison to 1,400. So, yeah, so we have this keeper for three years. Delhi's gonna be up pretty soon. Three years, two years, two years, three years, two years, but I'm gonna trade them. He's 35 years old now. All right, looks like most people are on a two to three year contract. Wow. Lumbo's on a four year contract. Okay, uh, where is, okay, Tremolata is 31. I think I'm actually going to add him to the transfer list just so we can try to get money so I can make a big center back signing, and I think I want to make a big striker signing as well. Yeah, so I think I think going to list those guys early, see if we can't get some, you know, some money back for that because we do need to sell at least two players and sign two important players um so that's something i want to do kind of right away get them in uh because these objectives are reasonable they're definitely easily reasonable our biggest one i think is within two seasons having at least one player from the youth academy signed because we kind of have to wait till they're just ready and if they're good enough and so that is not fully up to us per se of like quality wise so knowing what we're going to have i think um for now until people start kind of rotating in and out i guess we should put in our backup keeper here because we're trying to trade the 67 overall because he's like old <laughs> um you know but yeah, no, I think what we're going to do right now is just kind of put the best available team we can in. And as players go, we'll switch them out. So I'll just throw in the guys just to get a match going. Um, CDM. All right, that's that's fine. 72, 78. We do need a backup keeper. I mean, a backup center back. So I guess this 54 overall is the best one, right? Because, yeah, Catali's center, center, okay. Palumbo is going to play Cam. Ooh. Okay. So we really don't have a ton of options at this point for a lot of positions. Okay. So at left mid... Bray, what is Marconi at? Let's see. He's striker, center forward, right ring. We'll throw him towards right mid. We'll throw in the left mid right now. And we really don't have a backup for the wing positions, with it, which is kind of concerning, to be honest. So I think we'll throw... Oh, boy, this is not easy with this current lineup. Cross going to be a backup CB, so we'll throw him there. Mondelli. Really, we'll go in there as a backup CDM. Then I just think we put the best players we have available to play pseudo striker. I mean, pseudo wings. But yeah, this is, I guess, our lineup. Oh, Tremolata is a cam or center forward. So I think we bring in Fonti, and then we'll bring in... Luzo can go up. Okay, this, I, I guess, this will work for now. This isn't how I would like to structure it, but I kind of... Yeah, we'll just save this for right now. I can mess with stuff later, because right now, the first and most important thing... Lone player expired. Scout departs. That's fine. You know, we're going to... I know we have a lot of stuff to work on with this team. And I know that when it comes down to it...
we need to kind of set this up. Okay, so let's send out, let's go set up a scouting network. We are in Italy. Maybe we should kind of go there. A part of me wants to, you know, I know what I'm going to do. In order of Gizmo Gaming, who I play pro clubs with, we're going to go to Mexico. Nine months, and we're going to spend some money, and we're going to see if there isn't great any great Mexican talent to bring in this club. And uh, whew. they do want us to spend all our budget, but I'm going to hold off for now, get some of those trades out, and we can see to bring in another scout. Spent two mil. That's fine. And, you know, I think we just kind of advance and see what all is going on. It's going to say scout. Yeah, it's setting up. That's fine. That's fine. So we're going to advance, see what we get. Okay, so Giovan. I thought it was Giovanni. It's Gino Vanini. Okay, whatever. Uh, Charles Samuel. Okay. Wants him. They're paying 64. His market value is only six, like 600,000. They're paying six, 640,000. You know, he's 21 years old, though, but I we need youth players to come through. And this is a boost of money right away. I'm just going to accept the offer. I'm not. I He's young, I know. But, um, oh, player chats. I didn't realize there was chats I had to go through. I know you have a reason for transfer listing me, boss. But I really enjoyed my time here. I'm sorry to go. Uh, just looking at options. Sort of. Hey, Gaffer. So was he's looking to sell me. Enjoy my football here. Wouldn't want to go play anywhere else. Just looking at options. <laughs> Uh, looking at options. And uh, good to meet you too. Just nice and simple. Uh, it really is. I'm just looking at options. If nobody wants to trade for him, then obviously they're not going to go anywhere. But like, I'd much rather play it safe. Okay, so just going to advance. Okay, Tremolata has an offer from, okay. Wow, I was not expecting, because of his age at 31, I was not expecting to get his full market value. So the fact they're paying, they want to pay 1.8 and he's 1.7, I think we just accept this and we don't let leads um, <laughs> back out. Because again, th uh, 31 years old, 71 rated, yeah, he's good. But we have better options, and that money can come in, and we can try to get a really good center back. We're still going to advance. I was hoping to play a game, but it's mostly transfer talk right now. Our 32-year-old keeper, 20000 above his value. You know, we really don't need him. He's 32. I want to try to get this age down overall of the team, and we so far have it pretty low. But, yeah. I, I don't want anyone above 28. So, we are just going to keep going on. Oh, there's a whole thing to say goodbye now. Oh, okay. Romeo Giovanni has been accepted. He's transferred out. Price rating, SC. We'll take that. That's fine. Good price. Yeah, I, I it, it's just to get him out of the club. He's 32 years old. Um, You know, could have made 200 more if you were more demanding during negotiation. I just want to move him and have the money ready. You know, his clear choice position. Your scar depth is also impressive. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to be too worried about this for right now. Team strategy. It lit up team strategy. Is there something I don't know? Oh, I think it's just the player development aspect of it. Just like an update. That's fine. I really am just hoping to play a match. Giovanni sold. Okay. 32-year-old striker. Millwalls come through. He's They're just giving a regular price. Um, We could negotiate. But that's just one extra mill. Let's speed it along. I know I could get more, but I just kind of, at this point, they're paying value. They're not undercutting. They're undercutting, then I'm going to hardcore 
like go in and be like, you know what? No. <laughs> oh my! In national management, don't care about QPR has come in. Chile, we've already accepted. They're just giving the same offer. Um. Yeah. So. Just going to reject QPR. Sorry, QPR. I'm a fan of you, but uh, Millwall, I've already accepted them. It would be unfair to try to go against the world. Now, if they offered more money, <laughs> but okay, it's time to say goodbye again. Another player. These guys look so depressed. A lot of these guys are going to play in higher divisions in comparison to like the second division of Italy. Like, in my mind, a lot of these guys should be kind of excited to go play in these other countries and at the level they're going to play. You know, in club competitions, they're going to be playing against some of the top English players. I don't. Truly, I don't. I don't get it. Yeah, this one might only be a C as well. Yeah, that's fine. Good price. I know we could have got more money, but I'm just trying to transfer them out and move on. So that's technically our two. Uh, oh, excellent deal. Okay, suppose they gave me a C and then gave me an A. That's fine. Uh, team strategy. Again, I think it's just updating things. We'll update positions here in a second. Uh, Scalini sword, Tremola sword. I just want to let you know that Crum and Ruck have agreed to pay the 540 release cost for Antonio Pettigrew. Not to start negotiation of terms. As you know, that means indecision in the future now rests on the player. Oh, so our player, one of our players is just straight up. Okay. Uh, thanks for the boss. Look, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. I didn't see my future here. I'm just not happy being at the club anymore. Oh, okay. So the center back... Um, I'm just going to tell him if he doesn't want to be here, cool, go. I wanted to find any uh, others. Okay, so we need to look at team management really quick. So Paragraph is not our highest rated CB, but he was the kind of veteran, and we kind of were already planning to get rid of him in some senses. So that's fine. Um... Yeah, right now, I don't think we're any worse of rare overall. But, yeah. It, it could be, it could be better. Okay, who's better? <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, we'll keep that there. All right, this is kind of just the team for right now. I was really hoping to play a match. But, you know, this this is important, too. I get it. Okay, another sad player. I mean, honestly, if I was at this club, and I know maybe it's a club that gave them their big break, but going to a chance to play for Millwall, to play for some of these other sides, would be exciting, I think, for the most part. You know, they probably have nice facilities in comparison. They probably have a chance to play against great players and you're more likely to get spotted you know and i don't know man i mean this one in particular i mean going to millwall millwall is not a bad side okay are you ready? potentially got maximum out of deal yeah i mean honestly he's also an older player and like I just don't get why he's still sticking here, to be honest. Like, you know, Chili sold. Okay, so we have a few offers. Ponzi, our left back, 22 years old. Um, oh, they're paying like 350000 over. He's only 64 weight rated, though. Like, he's 22. We already accepted an offer for a paragraph, so he should be going. J 
Reject Malamo, because Paragraph should be leaving. This is tough. Like, 27-year-old Gregorio, I think I will just accept this. Because we have enough CM and CAMs. And so I think we accept that. He goes. This one's tough, because at 1.4 mil is his market value. They're paying at the top. You know, let's actually let's let's actually let's actually do this. Let's negotiate, and I just want to bump it up ever so slightly to see if they will go for that top price. You know, because I think ultimately, you know. Okay, yeah, you can sit down. Let's talk. Okay, pose new transfer fee. I just well, hello, edit. There we go. I just want to bring you up to 1.8. This is nothing, but let's just see. Just, you know, it's just an extra 50,000. Okay, there we go. I just, the max deal is 1.85. And by getting him at 1.80, I think for a young player, that 1.8 will easily can turn around into something. So, I mean, I'm okay with that. I know we're losing players. We're not signing anyone. I was kind of worried because I I was thinking that I was going to wait a little bit and things are just a go, go, go. And I mean, another thing I was hoping is our youth academy thing would start getting into rotation, but Novak's the closest one. Thankfully, he is a right ring, so he technically is needed as a backup. So he might see playtime. Um, the one I'm most interested in overall is Burgess. But we're not going to see him for a little while. Because he's only 15. And I don't think you can sign players unless they're 18. Can I? I can promote him. Interesting. I thought there was a limit to the promotion. Okay. Um, I'm thinking Novak. I might bring him up. I'll let him stay here for a little bit, but if our squad starts to get a little too low, I think I might just have to, personally. All right, we're going to keep moving. Here we go. We finally got to a match. Never mind, depressing guy leaving. I just want to play our game. I just want to get a feel for it. I want to get a feel for the players. At least this guy's head isn't as, like, low. Oh, no, there he goes. I mean... <laughs> This, if this is that Pana gif Griff guy, he should not be depressed. I don't think it is, though, judging from the way he looked. I And I don't like the guy at the front desk giving me dagger eyes every time I walk someone out. It is Pana Griff. He asked to leave. Why is he looking depressed? You asked to leave. He wanted to leave. Should I have kept a man on the squad just because he... That doesn't make any sense. All right, preseason tournament invite. Oh, man, that money would be very helpful. But look at those teams. You know what? Let's just go for it. All right, I believe in us. I believe in the squad. Team strategy, we're just going to click it back out because until the squad's going, I really don't want to deal with any of that stuff fully yet. So we lost our CB. I guess Kaz comes in as our backup. And, ooh, stuff is getting thin. Okay, I think I think I may have to bring up the 17-year-old. I mean, 17's an all right time to come up to the senior squad. He can slot in at the right back position. Or, I mean, the backup right mid position. I, I, think, I think I should just sign him. It'll be a player brought up from the youth team. And um, what was our objective? Within two seasons, to have at least one player from the youth side sign in the first season, play at least 30 of the games. Okay. So if we bring him up and try to get him in games as a sub, I think that will work. Okay. I think that's a shout. So at this point, we're bringing up Yan Novak, promote to senior squad. 
we'll keep everyone else there. I don't want to. I don't think I'll bring up someone at fifteen. I think. Uh, I think I'll stand and wait till at least sixteen, unless it's desperately needed. And with Novak brought in, I do want him back up. And yeah, there he goes. He is. He's very agile, I think, which will be really good. But yeah, this is the this is the squad for right now. Um, I don't know why Palumbo, who has Cam as his positions, dislikes this Cam role so much. Like I understand he likes CM better. That's something we may have to switch out. We do have inbox stuff. Recognize you, your coaching staff, from a particular banning season. You will face the following teams: Water Bremen, Oakland, and Kaka. Okay, Kaka. Okay. We got some decent clubs there. What a Bremen. I actually knew a guy in college. He uh, he was part of the soccer club I was in, part of the football club. And uh, he was from Bremen, Germany. It was fun. Paragraph was sold. I don't know why he looked down. He wanted to leave. I want to at least play one game. So can we? No, we cannot. Because we have another depressing guy leaving. You got to be kidding me. This episode's going to go on forever because it will not let me go to a match. I want this first episode to just be natural. Let it flow. Let you guys experience everything before I kind of take some of the more training aspect stuff and hide them away unless you guys want to see that. I was not expecting this to be a, oh, look at the pressing guy leave. And we lost another player. Oh, I can skip this. Oh. Yeah, but this this was a this was a big deal. Like this was one point eight mil, and I mean, how's this a C? We got the max almost about two point five. Okay, so we've and then, and then okay. So I guess I should be a little bit more aggressive. All right, we lost two players there. Dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance. Didn't let anyone down. <laughs> I mean, we just need depth at this point, but don't let the kid know that. Um, gonna back out of that. At this point, we really need to look at the squad. How badly did that move damage us? It kind of did, but it kind of didn't. We're, our depth is low. We are gonna have to be very careful. I'm hoping our, oh, our scouts. Oh, I'm an idiot. This whole time. I I never send out the other scouts. I thought I sent them all out. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. So we already have one checking out uh, MLS. For some reason, we can only check out Argentina. Um, experience is low, but he has good judgment. Let's send him to Portugal because Ricardo Conti has the best experience, best judgment. I think for him, I think I just want to keep him in Italy and kind of have him look at the talent and uh, the scouting report. All right. All right. Hold on. This is a free agent. He's only 21. Do we just take a blind chance? It's the only one that seems to be. Agility is sell you and transfer hub. Yeah, I know. Six two high medium. If his stats are really just in the middle of a lot of these, he could be good. But do we need another cam? Is the problem. That's like it. We don't need cams. We need CMs. You know. But we're going to let them scout through. And I just want to play a match. This is so hard to just get to the match. Go, go, go. Yes! Okay, we have a transfer city from Hull. Fair offer should be 8 to 1.5. I think you could negotiate a better deal. I, I really don't want to trade him. So I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to negotiate... And I am just going to ask like 1.6, 1.7. And if they accept it, fine. But I'm, I think I'm just going to go in and give them a really reckless number. 
so just to, you know, okay, we're going to edit. We're going to go up to 1.6 and see if they accept. I mean, that's like four mil. Oh, oh, uh oh, not four mil. I was going to say meant 400,000. Oh, I guess I probably could have got two mil from this. Watch this turn out exactly like the other one. Oh, brother. Um, and our stuff gets only sale takes some hard work. <laughs> our death is thin and it's match day. All right, guys, at least we'll be able to play a match. Um, oh, our training session. Oh, we're going to actually have to play this stuff, aren't we? Um, are we going to actually have to play this? We are. Okay, I think I might skip the rest of the training. Just simply... Oh, my guy's in the background judging. See the coach in the background judging? Oh, I dislike that so much. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> I mean, I do feel bad I'm picking on the uh, keeper here, but um, oh, almost got to that one. Oh, this one could be blasted too far. It did. Yep, I knew it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We got four thousand points. Cool. They all get bonus points. Uh oh. Okay, you only can do one. Okay. All right. That's fine. Okay. Let's just uh, pre-match report. I guess this is all prep stuff. Uh, all right. Press high, trying to win the ball back to opposition third. Clever and quick. Key defensive player will lose the ball. Presses aggressively. Okay. All right. So this is kind of just their formation, how they play. All right. We can kick off. We finally have a match. All right. Change vision. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. Play match. We're just going to hop in. I just want to play a match to wrap up this episode. And then next time we can do a little bit Ushering more. Ushering in a new era stuff. at the club. Can he bring fresh ideas? Can I bring fresh ideas? That is a key question. Uh, the fact that we're in Italy and I think I'm playing Tiki Taka football, I think automatically it's a game changer. But yeah, the question is, can I play the game good? <laughs> like actually the we're game itself. Stay with us on EA TV. I'm going to try to play a little bit not FIFA flick over everybody's head a million step over. I'm going to try to play somewhat ball. realistic I'm by Derek passing the ball, keeping it on the ground. You know, we're just going to see what we can do here. Well, no, to they really do press, don't they? Game. Time for players to get their match fitness, coaches to develop tactics, new signings to be integrated, and maybe youngsters to be given okay, a Okay, lost the ball there. That's fine. My biggest weakness in FIFA and in EAFC 24, I guess, now, Going well. is, um, okay, uh, and pull back. Oh man, try to bounce on that. I, like, I was so afraid to just cross it in, or pass it in the middle if someone ran in there, so I tried to go for something weird. My biggest thing is defense. I'm not always the best defensively. And I just gave the ball. And, you know, sometimes that comes to bite me back, but, you know. Danilo. No, ultimately, I do want to try to keep it somewhat realistic. Like, new era begins with a new oh, manager in charge. not the pass that I was trying to give, but that's fine. That you know, the, the, the one interesting thing here is really is, the, is, is the fact that I really do no, need to play when a new manager more comes of this in, game. Come with new ideas, and that can take time for players to adjust to. They Good to through ball. They could be in here. And we have a first start. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping Not a bad start. Not a bad start. This is preseason, so I know um, usually preseason the computer well, plays the on replay. super just easy look baby how mode. No matter the difficulty the you put it on, it's always the so easiest it will be all season is in preseason. So us winning 
four, five, six something is not going to be unrealistic, but it also isn't going to mean that we're going to win every game. You saw in the preseason for the player career mode, we dominated. And then we struggled. So, I mean, cannot always believe what is shown in preseason. And this is a game of two halves. Although passing like that, um, oh, that's such a bad ball. Yeah, I do need to go change where I want people to go and change the thing. I was really hoping that I would do a well, couple transfers, like one or two, right off the bat, get the scouting going, get the... I wasn't going to expect there was so much interest in a lot of my players. And the next thing I know, over half the episode, oh, well over half the episode, well, is burned on transfers, danger, watching people walk defending. out depressed, leaving the club despite a couple of them asking to leave. And, um... Oh, well, and he's broken also might be on his second, and he has and he a second. Not once, but twice. They um, stop him. But, yeah, no, no I mean, this one himself. I just wanted to get in, get the feel, play with the team, kind of get a uh, resent, uh, a, a feel, a sense of what these guys can do, what they feel well, like on controlling them. Exactly because just because you see somebody with a great pace, finish. great control, nice doesn't mean in this year's edition of what would have been FIFA in the past, has that control past FIFA as you can kind of tell how they control and how they feel just by looking at their stats this year is not the case of that there's so much more in-depth detail and that's what also makes this series a little bit harder to just get going right off like right out of the gate is because there is so much other stuff to worry about it's more in depth it's more in detail that's great but it also means that it took longer to get to the first match I had a lot of players that left, which is a problem. Area. I didn't get the... Uh, no. Gives it a go. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Oh, hit the post. the post. Just put him off just enough. Um, and he stopped them in their okay, tracks. just pass it back. Let's be careful. Well, they just can't you know, because when you play on Ultimate Team where you play with the best bronze or silver players... You know, you're playing with the best of them. You're not playing with these kind of guys who are just run-of-the-mill players. So who knows? Um, oh, I, I stopped and just was trying to mess around. You know, you never truly know how it's going to go. So once we're in a rhythm of things, I don't think it'll be as bad. And obviously, if you guys have any suggestions on who you would want to sign, let me know. Obviously, this... You know, isn't a big ball, club. So We're not going to be able to afford some of the best players. But I know for certain I want to at least sign. Oh, this? wow, I completely zoned the out there talking. Um, I want to at least sign a good center back. I want to sign at least another left midfielder. Um, Plenty of support you know, here. I want to at least sign... Uh, that's off. Feeding it through. Tries to lift it. And there it is. Yeah, that's offside. On, yeah, no, it was it was Everton. It was offside. No, uh, this dude's haircut is very ball, unfortunate. Holding just, just started from the center, and started spreading. He has like a, a what is it, a fryer haircut? You know, he has that fryer hair. Um, fortunately, it was offside. Good chip. Um, I actually had a nasty chip on Gizmo Gaming's uh, uh, Pro Club stream on Sunday, this last Sunday. Well, using the space really which, well. I'll obviously, I'll have Gizmo's link in the description below if you want to check him out on kick. Um, I will be streaming sometime soon, but for now, you know. Oh, that was unfortunate. Just came off his heel. Yeah, they do, they do not have the best control or the best uh, turn radius. So, yeah. Good, high but, pressure. yeah, at this point, guys, I can kind of get the feel of this team. Strizzo. I kind of know oh, what to expect. I think we're just going to take a long shot, see what Still happens. Okay. Because I just want to test out a few things with these guys. And, uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, they're on the break. They're That's on the, the break. Uh, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Call out the keeper. Can he, put it away? he missed oh, just right. Save. The keeper well, closed the say, angle down decently well. That's, that's a player that's obviously that's a goal of the day. But, you know. And over comes the corner. Oh, what a good that header. Alright, so it's 2-1. That's fine. Yeah, no, guys. 
my biggest thing is it's like I wanted to at least get a match, get a feel, start to kind of figure out where I well, think the weakness is, is where I want how these guys kind of control here, and how I want to so set easy. up the settings. Usually in career mode or manager modes, I like to kind of get a feel for the game and get a feel for the squad before I oh I'm so close to stopping that. Um or swatting it at least away. Um, you know, get that feel well, for it first. But it's 2 1. Two That's one not bad. Good corner. They've, they've had a number of chances, though. And I know we can do better, too. They're going to play press. So our biggest strength is well, hitting the lead, on the counter. Like trying to move the ball quick. I don't know how to feel about everyone on this team yet. I know, as I was saying, there. a CB, a left winger, and, and he has options you know. And there we go. There we go. You know, so it's it's one of those things that, man, that is really unfortunate here. Someone put a hat on that guy, please. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really do like so far kind of what I'm seeing overall. I definitely kind of know how I want to set this because I don't like my CPs pushing up so much. Well, the action continues. And I no like my goals, midfielders having a wide stand. range of area to play in, you know. And I like my strikers to stay up. I like my. Uh... It's looking promising. Oh, that well, was a poor shot on me, um, or well, by me. Um, but yeah, so I'm go I'm gonna That's have to work some stuff around. Quality, this might be a little too I'll close to the, the keeper. No, oh, no, poor head. I just controlled that one. I was, I was so focused on the keeper not moving that I didn't even aim that thing. That was a poor header by me. Dude, headers, man, I don't know what it is. Either I'm so on point with them or I'm so bad in this year. There's no middle ground. Oh, do we take the long shot? Oh, not good. I just tried a power shot. Did not go off well, but got to test these things out. I got I to gotta get a feel for these players in different situations. You know, long shots, like, let's say if they're loading up the box in the future. Oh, wow, bad Corner pass back to put pressure. That's clearance. good. Uh, you know, try a couple different corners options. Like, uh, call for the second player. Have them come short. Draw someone in. So the see if we can't the fill behind the gap. And taking care there. of the situation. Okay. Oh, that's that was low. That was well, that was all right that might be difficult for the for angle. The keeper, if we had someone wrong. there to fill that gap, the other striker kind of backed off. You know. Two minutes of stoppage time. Okay, up. so not too bad. I mean, obviously, I know I could be doing a lot more to make this easily winnable. And Danilo. as this goes on, if we need to increase the difficulty, we will. And we if I need to just. You know, we, we'll make adjustments as they come. But I, I kind of already want... Uh oh Oh, that was another good one. Yeah, I completely messed up there. I definitely want another CB. I definitely want to set my defenders to stay back. And uh, just like that, it's 3-2. Well, in the first half, it's 3-2, a lot of goals. I got to get the defense feeling right. He's having a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy to watch so yeah, far. Yeah, he's been he's pretty so good. Much ability, and the two shots off target, one, uh, one was excellent. a power shot that I just wanted to try. The other was a shot that was saved. So, you know, that's it, it, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go back in. And I definitely know the adjustments I will make to the squad off, well, underway once off camera. More, and it's going and to I can go over them once all done because I, you know, I'm gonna in really the second half. Like, see what's there option rise fully and come up with my tactics. Um, yeah, they're definitely giving me way Decent too much space. With at times. He's in with a chance. How's your shots? Okay. Alive. The best shots are not the best, but, for you. You know, but that's fine. That was fine. We've got a goal. 4-2. Quick, you know, hit off the break. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm starting to kind of see my vision, and I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but it's just, like, thoughts are entering my head of, like, right now on that header we lost. We, I really want a nice, maybe even if he's slow, a really tall CB. You know, one that can dominate Danilo the air, you know. Um, 
definitely think I might want to search for another left winger, left midfielder, just to fill the backup slot or be a new starter over him. You know, the ring play hasn't been bad, but you know. Well, West Ham fans have been wondering, would they or the midfield the play hasn't well, been bad. Has now. It has I will be making through, subs Stuart. here in a minute. Well, I do want to bring in the young kid we just signed um, just to kind of see how he's you know gonna fit in how he's gonna feel as nice our first the offside well even marginally offside is still against All right. the law. that's not and bad yeah i think at the 60th minute i'll bring longer, him in and he would have been in on goal we'll see who else is getting tired and kind of makes subs in that regard but takuma yeah. asano Okay, just have him have it launch into the sky. That would for me. Play short. Let them press up. Press up. Okay, our guy did not pull the ball back like I was telling him to, but that's fine. Okay, okay. Do we have... Okay. Ah. Just okay. the challenge that yeah. was required. Teammates available. Oh, I was trying to turn back around. Yeah, these guys' agility and everything are a little slow. And I know I'm not breaking enough ankles and taking enough people out for this to be true Italian football. Well, the um. <laughs> final attempt, quite honestly, didn't match the initial build. Yeah, no. Well, I think. Football, but unfortunately, I think. A wasteful finish in the end. Uh, we're not living up to Italian football, but I only chose this club because of the well, options and how well. not overwhelming they were on, like, requirements. The oh, we're through. Here. Power shot time? No, no, no. He's on me too much. Going to I'm just going to try well, a quick shot. All right. We're going to go team management. And I think it's time Novak makes his debut. Um, CDM seems kind of tired. So let's bring in... Gurley's the one who's about to leave. Let's bring him in just to have like a farewell game, I guess. And then we'll keep... Oh, wait. We have unlimited subs, don't we? We do. We do have unlimited subs. Okay. Uh, you know, no one else is really tired enough to warrant a change. So I think these will be the so two changes we make. I want to try out well, to see if this youth guy, there. this young guy, can uh, step up. So there, Novak. Really. Oh, Novak's wearing number 10. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess we have a right winger with the number 10. That's always turned out great in football history. Okay, we're going to go for a lob. Can he and... deliver it with accuracy? No. Really smart we don't have anyone on short. Them. I definitely need to manage the corners because I like to go short and I also like to have a guy there who, if I call, there's another behind. Okay. Well, Lumbo. Forward, they might be in business. Good, good one. shot. Just a little straight at the keep, but I mean, it had good, decent power. Oh, here's Novak. Okay, he has pace. He, he's, he pushes the ball a little forward. A little too far forward in front of him. So I can't just Kevin blitz Schurger. with him. But he has good agility. He really does. I think his agility was 80-something. Okay, they're letting our ringer or our, uh, back just step up. And the cross goes That's in. going to be straight well, at the keeper. Oh, keeper had to make a save. Well, there's a living, breathing example Damn. Of okay, we, we have something here. Good overlap. I think that's the first time I've seen Kevin the Stuger. right or left back truly overlap. And I don't know if it's just because of who that's the other agile. player was in front of them. But yeah, Novak is definitely playing away. a little Looking higher up. And that'll He's be off. offside. Yeah. Um, Novak definitely seems to be playing higher up at times. Which is fine. To go in this one. Okay, good. All right, not bad. In the oh, I really thought he wasn't going to no bite there. Product. That's why I should have passed. I'm just messing around at this now point. And it's 4-2. Until they go 4-3, I really won't try again. I'm just trying to, you know, like I've said, test stuff. See how it feels. Well, giving the ball away. 
Oh, that was just a poor pass. I do have to remember these guys all don't have like 70 plus passing. I have to be aware that I have to be a little bit more accurate and not just, you know, think, oh yeah, I have uh credit you a good intervention. You know. Just pass in the general direction that would work. 75th minute. Um we're only 82% accuracy on 109 passes. But, you know, that is fine. Oh, good vision. Oh, dang. I really thought that was going to turn into something, and it didn't. The ball was just kind of... No one ran on. Okay, we're going to get this ball back. Gurley's okay. He definitely feels slow. Novak. Options are plenty. Okay. I thought Novak would try to overlap. He did not. That threw me off a little bit. Not going to lie. This first episode is going to be so long, dude. Oh. Chip. No. It had to be cleared, though. Oh, no. I just I accidentally ran ahead with the dude. I had him under control, and I was just pushing forward. Just now to have it thinking, ah, oh, why did it go in? I... <laughs> Okay, it's right. It's right, though. To have lost the ball. By the way, guys, do let me know if you're still watching at this point what you would like to see in each of the episodes, like how much of the coaching and tactics you would like to see, because you know. Now the quick counter attack could be on. That's offside. Well, unable to bend his I can't get the offside. timing right with the two strikers sometimes. Like I know it's as easy to just oh, press it the first vision. time, but there is a delay on passing. And until I have stuff set up about position. Oh, Bonafonte has the ball. Can someone go into the other gap, please? It through. Oh, well, it was massive. Has to be a red. You're lucky it's preseason. That's last defender red card all day. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful. I'm not even going to show that it. That was just challenge. Early. All right. Can we get our first free kick? It's a little tough to try to... Try to nail in there. Understandably, ah, he I tried to try to well. I could have put more power in it, but also probably should look at who's taking free kicks and decide who's really the best for my type of style. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Oh, That's and we just put it right to the fender. Well, okay, he's after Bizarro. Lumbo. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Oh, here we go. Bonafonte. Two minutes of stoppage time okay, coming up. Okay, and... Is this the nope. Well, he stopped it out of there without much Jump. fuss. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, and we're all the way back with ball. It's right. Game's pretty much over. We're going to win 4-2 unless they get a last-second goal to make it 4-3. Oh, there we go. And that will all right. Be all, all right. Anyway, not bad. Not a bad start, guys. We win... 4-2 in our first well match. Um, as this goes on, we'll squad, think about but... increasing difficulty and all that other stuff. But for now, just take in the fact we are at 1-4-2 and that our club will see changes. Uh, Bremen is definitely the side I think we have to watch out for the most. Let's check our inbox. Changing the focus of Zaro's training. Giovanni Zaro has been on a balanced training plan, but I think Really hasn't benefited. Focus on performance now would be a good idea if you think about putting Zoro in the starting lineup rather than leaving him on the bench. Yeah, I will go through all the training plans and all that stuff later, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what you think about manager career mode. And uh, till next time, tag out. A special thank you to all my Patreon supporters, Urza. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, wanting to see content early, or just to make me re-record this because I'd have to add another name to the list, check out Patreon in link description below.